Welcome to Sweet Addiction TV, brought to you by Prime One Camo. Closed captioning for Sweet Addiction TV is brought to you by Buck Gardner Calls. We're excited to start off another season of Sweet Addiction TV. We had to take a little break. A lot of things have been going on, and we're excited to share with you what God's been doing in our lives. We aired our first season of Sweet Addiction TV in 2013, and our daughter Haven Faith was born in 2014. When she was only six months old, we found out she had a very rare tumor. It was in her skull, and it ended up being cancerous. Um, she had surgery to have it removed, and right after surgery, she had testing done, um, and it showed that there were probably more tumors in her body based on the levels that they checked. Uh, we reached out to all of our friends and family, our entire social media that we built in 2013 to pray for our daughter. And once we got to St. Jude Children's Hospital, they redrew the same levels and they had gone down to zero. We fully believe that God, through the power of prayer and our faith, that He healed our daughter. Um, we've grown tremendously and we are excited to share our testimony and faith and glorify God this season with you. Our daughter Haven Faith is now in remission for two years and we are so excited to get back in the game, get, this, get the show going, get everything uh, out there so that we can share this awesome ride that we've been on, how God has been so special to us and we even have a new baby boy named Talon. Uh, that, that's a whole nother season. We're fixing to start taking him and, and sharing him. So y'all stay with us. says to this mountain, go throw yourself into the sea, and does not doubt in their heart, but believes that what they say will happen, it will be done for them. Therefore I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it, and it will be yours. He's heavy. Yeah, he's white tail. That's a, that's a decent eight. But he's a little small. He's three and a half. Three and a half year old deer. There's your turkeys. <laughs> and, uh, come back. Man. He's heavy. He's nice, heavy. 130 inches. Yeah. He's cruising. It's pretty good. We just saw the first uh, white tail since we've been up here. About a, he said a point about 130 inch deer just standing off the road. And there were about four birds, turkey, I don't know what they were, right there for Rocky later, hopefully. So, first deer down. Jamie's not lying to us, I don't guess. Saw at least one deer so far. <laughs> <laughs> but it wasn't the deer we were looking for. One's better than that. But he's a nice, nice 130 inch deer. He'll be good next year. We'll see what happens. But first stop, good sign. There's a lot more traffic coming down this way. We kept walking and glassing and we came over the top of a ravine and when we looked down the valley we saw another buck.
Well, once we glassed him, we decided that he wasn't a shooter, so we kept walking. But, you know, at this point, I'm seven months pregnant, and if you've ever hunted the Midwest or the West, you know that it's a lot of walking and glassing. And so the wind is crazy. There's hardly any trees out here or anything to keep the wind off of you, so we decide to head back to the truck. So this little guy is Peyton and his dad from Wisconsin, and they've been hunting this blind all day for whitetail. And early this morning, Peyton shot a whitetail um, out of the blind right there. And they just kind of waited, let him lay for a few hours, and we just got over here. So we're going to help him try to find it, and hopefully he got a big one. They said it was really big, so fingers crossed. We'll be super excited. Holy smokes. <laughs> this is stud. Dagger, baby. Oh Dagger's on this. the ground. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Golly. Oh, oh, is that a stud? Yeah. Wow. Look at that, man. Oh, my God. He's laying right there. Really? He's laying right there. Are you excited? Yeah. That's awesome. Congratulations. Thanks. What's your biggest? Before this, before this before? <laughs> like 114 inch. 114. How old are you? 12. 12 years old. You just shot a giant in Nebraska. It's awesome. Congratulations. Sweet Addiction TV is brought to you in part by Prime One Camo, Buffalo Valley Game Calls, Sportsman's Boat Storage, Vortex Optics, Plot Master. To adapt and succeed in the wild, you have to think like a predator, move like a predator, become part of the natural surroundings, just like a predator. This is Prime One Camo. It's really the first time that natural patterns and organic shapes of predators in the wild have ever been used in a camouflage pattern. So the question becomes, why be the tree when you can be the predator? Here at Tribe Archery, you can say we're serious about bow hunting. And our bows are born to bow hunt. These balanced performance bows are built for the pursuit. Tribe's Kinetic delivers the punch. This hunting platform gives you both speed and stability for those nerve rattling moments we live for. If you're as serious about bow hunting and your hunting gear as we are, then you'll understand why our bows are born to bow hunt. Welcome back to Sweet Addiction TV. We were driving out here and those two boys just spied a massive mule deer up here. I mean, huge. So we're going after
frame. Reach another, reach another, it's all right. He don't know, he don't know. I put it a little lower, just right behind his shoulder. Today. Just ease the trigger. You gotta wait for him. He might not hang out that long. Put it right on his front left shoulder. Not smoking. Front left shoulder. He turns now. now. One minute. folks. <laughs> sometimes you get them, sometimes you don't. But it was a good clean mess. We're not wounded. So the huge buck finally turns broadside. I feel like I have a good ethical shot. You know, it's 175 yards approximately. It's still pretty far and it's super windy. Um, I'm on a single monopod and so it's not that great for trying to get 100% steady in the conditions that we were in. Um, I finally felt okay with a shot and I took it and unfortunately I missed, but thankfully um, they didn't have any idea what happened. And so hopefully we might get another chance at him or another buck on day to TV on social media at Team Sweet Addiction TV. Expectations are high, and November will be here soon. This buck was taken in May. It takes four seasons to harvest a buck. Arrow seed. More for your buck. Welcome back to Sweet Addiction TV. This is day three in Nebraska. Um, all the other hunters that were up here, they finished tagging out last night. Got two, two really nice mule deer that we showed y'all. So um, today's our first day with low wind, good sun. It's cold outside, it's 30 degrees, and we've already seen several mule deer up and moving today. They're not you know, bedded down like they have been in all this wind, so it's looking good. Gotta be one, another one that thickens somewhere. White or? That's a mule. Mm -hmm. Kinda looks like a little spiker bug.
That's four, four deer, three bucks within a mile. So they're up on their feet moving. It's good. No wind. Nice and cool. Well, we aren't having any luck glassing this specific area, so we decided to get set up on a patch of woods and see if maybe we can call a big buck out. To adapt and succeed in the wild, you have to think like a predator, move like a predator, become part of the natural surroundings, just like a predator. This is Prime One Camo. It's really the first time that natural patterns and organic shapes of predators in the wild have ever been used in a camouflage pattern. So the question becomes, why be the tree when you can be the predator? May your tag of a lifetime finally come through. May the snow pile up and the elk come down. May your socks always stay dry. May the herd bull finally break from the herd. And may your aim always stay true. Welcome to the next level. Welcome to the Vortex. We are Tribe Archery and we know what it means to have the fire for archery burning inside. Tribe is a band of brothers and sisters who share the passion for gaining the competitive edge. Our Made in the USA pride runs deep. We build our bows to match our determination to win. A balance of technology and performance that will help you perform at your maximum time and time again. Welcome back to Sweet Addiction TV. Well, we just went up to a clump of trees and some cedar trees and um, thinking a whitetail might be down in there bedded up or something. So Jamie did some rattling for us and grunt call and doe bleats and whatnot and didn't see anything. So we're fixing to head over to a different spot and... Um, and to see if we can call something in this afternoon or just see something cruising, get up on a high spot and just sit a little bit and see what we see. Oh yeah, he's mad. He's mad. Hold on, hold on. 
see? Just watching with her scope. He to make sure he's oh, yeah, he's going to get his binoculars, but she sees me. Get on that deer. He's a shooter. He's a shooter. He's standing. He's up. He's a shooter. You see him going up the hill? Yeah. Follow him. Get on him. He's a shooter. Get him. Get him. Get him. Shooting. Shooting. Shoot. Just get on him. That one. There he is. There he is. Put it on his shoulder. Oh, yeah. smoked him. <laughs> smoked him. <laughs> smoked him, girl. <laughs> Dropped it in his tracks, girl. <laughs> she was on the wrong box. <laughs> She's on the wrong box. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I'm so glad I looked at your barrel and you were looking at a little one. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. Oh, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> oh, my gosh. It's you right there, man. <laughs> He's crying. I'm sorry. She's pregnant and she's crying. That's for sure. It has nothing to do with me, guys. <laughs> That's awesome. Beautiful shot. Oh, Beautiful you shot. almost shot the baby with me. <laughs> Did you see that other one over there? Yeah. Yeah. I never you saw the other one. I almost shot that one. I have to bleep myself out. <laughs> I was like, Jamie, wrong one. What are you doing? No, I saw that one running. Oh my god. Hey, yeah, I can shoot. <laughs> <laughs> that is so awesome. So awesome. First meal there. Oh, Let's go check this bad dude, boy. Dude, he's nice. He is nice. He's a beautiful deer. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Beautiful deer. I thought the other one was big and I put it on him and I saw his rack and I didn't look at him again. I just got on him and You I didn't wait. Him. I was like, oh, he's fixing He's starting to run when she smoked him. I was hoping. I didn't even She shot him about to run. I didn't <laughs> Put him down. Oh. Nice four. Big three point. Big four point. Yeah, he's big four point. Look at it. Oh man. Get your hands on him, girl. <laughs> I've never seen a deer that big. I'm going to shot him. Heavier than the one yesterday. Look at that. He's heavier than the one you missed. Oh, that was high. He's a lot heavier than the one you missed. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. Wow. He's so big. Oh, my gosh. That's so pretty. Oh, did most of them have like good mass like that? Mm, that's yeah. probably most of their hair are a little spinnier than him. They don't have that. That one's got really good mass, that good forks. You got one more. Look at all the gnarly stuff down below. Little knots all around. Right? One brow time. One brow time. Wow. <laughs> that is His head's out. so big. He's huge. They're so much bigger than white tails. Wow. Unreal. All of the farms that you've seen us hunt on this season are part of SA Farms with Triple H Outfitting and we would love to have all of you out to come and hunt with us and join us in our Sweet Addiction. Sweet Addiction TV is brought to you in part by Arrow Seed Food Plots, Sinorama Lancaster Truck Wraps, Big Bucks Plus, Rectech Grills, Ammo Zone, Wasp Archery, and Bayou Boy Coolers.